Hi, welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, the Target Individual Experience. So, um, now they have gone back to staring at my own chain again. <laughs> you know, it is the religious fanatics, right? They are so indoctrinated with bullshit that they, from time to time, they will. Uh, give you guys an example so I got a friend request from another TI uh, she's very religious and I think she, and she had unfriended me in the past right because you know I guess because you know I wasn't on the same page with her and her, and her religious and the Christian Christian or Hebrew BS so I was surprised to see that she sent me a friend request so I accepted the friend request I was very hesitant I was, I was like okay I'll accept it so from the time I accepted her friend request, she sent me a DM, you know, with quoted scriptures and all this stuff. So I, I sent her back uh, some memes about, um, you know, there are some of the original saying that uh, the church took and used in the creation of the Bible, particularly the New Testament, right? So she sent me some other stuff. I sent her some more stuff. So I see that at this point now, she um, she hasn't sent me anything back. So we're just just fine because you're uh, you're not going to change my mind about Christianity. It's a lie, okay? And I'm not going to change your mind about Christianity or Hebrew or whatever because it's a lie, and you've been indoctrinated with a lie, and you cannot see the truth. So it doesn't make any sense. So I came, uh, Ethan came over after school, and I came here by Pam with him. And when I walked in the door, right, first thing she opened the door, what did she do as I walked in? Stared down at my chain, right, at my own sign. So they'll try to uh, get you to, you know, come back into the Christian fold. Or if you're not a Christian, they'll try to make you become Christian, believe in this bullshit. Jesus, what have you, right? And I understand, uh, you know, and I think there was a, another T.I. Albert was mentioning about this stuff, right? It talks about Joel's army. It talks about how the, you know, the, the religious fanatics within the military and the government and how they do these, what is called hearts and mind campaign, right? Now we know that the U.S. government do hearts and mind campaign on, uh, citizens of other countries that they've invaded or they want to make pro-US, right? Uh, supporters of US. So they run covert operation, uh, movies, um, media, right? Anything that shows, they can show America in a favorable light, you know, this is what they'll do. The internet, social media, stuff like what, like how Russia did and, you know, basically <laughs> uh, helped Donald Trump win the 2016 election, right? Um, so I'm going to do a show on this. I'm going to do a video on this, all right, about how the religious fanatics, whether they're conservative or whether they're liberal, all right, how they use religion as a tool to how, as a tool to um, cause harm to others who don't believe in their belief system. Sorry, the religious system. And so I'm going to do a show on this because it's a lot of things that, that they do to me, I think as a TI, when it comes to how they try to um, religiously indoctrinate me again. No, like, no. Because I always say, once you know the truth, you cannot go back to living a lie. I don't care how much hardship they want to put me through. I don't care how many threats they want to threaten me with or by or whoever. They can do it. I'm never, ever going back to believing in that lie. Why? Because it has poisoned, it had poisoned my mind as well as every other Christian, uh, even Islam. Okay? Because they're both based on lies. It is for control. Christianity, it is for white Anglo Saxons to control other white Anglo Saxons as well as other groups of people. Islam is the same thing, but Islam, it is white Arabs, because they consider themselves white, they're classified as white, 
and get them trying to do the same thing. Okay? And so once I realized and I understood what African spiritual system was about, concepts and and um and it has to do with astrology, science, medicine. Okay? It's not a religion. Okay? It is nature. It is the belief and the study of nature. Okay? That's African spiritual concepts. We don't separate science from spirituality. We know that they're one and the same. Right? They both belong to each other. Or coincide with each other. And so once I start to go through some of the documents that I have about how the church, how they turn people away from science, but then when all the praying and all the you know the brutality that they put on the European people, particularly during the Dark Ages, how they themselves turn to science, turn to the very literature that they had claimed to burn, but they didn't burn all of it now. They kept the important books, right? They kept all the, the books about medicine, uh, about other science and stuff like that. They kept that, right? So when all that praying didn't work, guess what? They went to those books. And those books, a lot of those books was, was um, written in Arabic, okay? And they use the information within those books. To help cure some of the worst disease and plague plagues in Europe all right so um, you know once I can get the information together and I have the time to do the video stay tuned it's gonna be a good one all right so I'll talk to you guys in the next video